um, so hi everybody, thanks for having us here. Um, the piece that we're going to present is a short piece on, um, based on a <coughs> research that we've been doing uh, on the prison industrial complex. And uh, it was developed in, uh, in a collaboration with Silvia Hernandez, uh, an artist from El Puente. Okay. And El Puente is an organization, mm -hmm. an organization based mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Not sure. That, uh, that has been for more than 40 years, right? Uh, 50 years um, uh, fighting against gentrification, but also working around education. So they have a, a bunch of youth programs, but also adult programs. Um, so Silvia Hernandez is a cool artist, and myself from Magitarte uh, and Jorge, where we put this piece together in, I would say, like in a month or so, a month and a couple weeks. And then, and then, yes, it's going to be part of the book tour, and, and I hope that you, that you appreciate it. Como si todo en la vida le faltara concepción, eleva la vista al cielo. Como si el mundo se le cayera encima, concepción contaba su desconsuelo. Y decía, hay niños que mantener. Y decía, hay niños que mantener si, si yo soy de los de abajo que tiene que ver yo tengo el mismo derecho de vivir si yo soy de los de abajo que tiene que ver yo tengo el mismo derecho de vivir As if everything in life failed her, Concepción raises her gaze to the street protest, where black lives matter to end white supremacy, because this is resistance. This is picture storytelling about a complex system industrialized in the lives of our people in prison. It's the Prison Industrial Complex, or PIC, which treats the people of color, or POC. Before the war on drugs got declared, there were about 250,000 inmates in the U.S. prison nation. Today, U.S. jails and prisons are filled with over 2.4 million people, with over 50% of inmates in federal prisons in jail for drug offenses and 10% for immigration-related crimes. These two categories of nonviolent crimes comprise over 60% of the federal prison population. We bring this quote to you as a challenge to common sense, to the idea that we have grown up and lived, that a prison is the way to deal with crime and the most affected by it, the poor. If all prisoners are counted, U.S. has around 25% of the world's prisoner population, even though it only represents 5% of the world's population. More black men are in prison, in jail, in parole, or probation that were enslaved in 1850. And that's why we ask. If all lives matter, because we're all created equal, why are some lives more equal than others? Since the 1970s and coincided with the, war, with the drug war, harsh punitive policies, mandatory prison sentencing, and three strikes or odd laws multiplied the prison nation of the U.S. Some would say this is good because um, criminals are behind bars. But if we look closely, the quilt reveals an economic system based on the needs of a shifting market, lucrative businesses that have turned surplus working class people into natural resources to feed a punitive, inhumane, 
capitalist system of correction by force. Roughly 6% of state prisoners and 16% of federal prisoners are incarcerated by and work for private companies. The majority of employed prisoners are paid between 12 cents to 40 cents an hour. GEO Group annual revenue is 1.2 billion. Corrections Corporation of America annual revenue is 1.7 billion with ICE contracts with some 15,000 vets in 14 facilities. And these are two largest private prison corporations in the U.S. Agüita de ajonjolí para los pobres hoy, para los pobres hoy. Y no me digan que no. Porque con eso voy, Some would say prison labor helps inmates prepare for the labor market. <laughs> <laughs> why do they have to be exploited? And why? Why not pay them a living wage since they're already, uh, their families are already losing the income of that family member? The high cost of maintaining contact with family members in prison leads more than one in three families into death. Which takes us back to our youth. American dreams of upward mobility are also common sense to us. If we study hard and work hard, we will be rewarded. We are supposed to be on an equal plane field in the land of opportunity. But reality is far from. Research reveals that girls who are sent into the juvenile justice system have typically experienced overwhelmingly high rates of, uh, high rates of sexual violence. Girls of color are particularly affected by this trend. <coughs> girls' behavioral reaction to sexual abuse and trauma is criminalized, reinforcing the sexual abuse to prison pipeline. Transgender people across the U.S. experience three times as much police violence as non-transgender individuals. Those numbers are even higher for transgender people of color. Black and brown youth and the schools are being pipelined into prisons in the U.S. Mm -hmm. As our people, as, um, as the U.S. continues to have an excess of our people, not needed for manufacturing anymore, funneled into service jobs, that make it impossible for folks to even live in the neighborhoods where they grew up. But some are not funneled. Even as they graduate and their schools close, they are targets to be policed, intervene on their protocol to be murdered by the state with deadly force of less lethal weapons or full clips emptied onto our black and brown youth, adults, and elders. Cuando yo saldré de esta prisión que me tortura, me tortura mi corazón. Si sigo aquí, Christian Taylor, en lo que sé, Sandra Bland, Sam DuBose, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Tony Robinson. Alicia Thomas, Anthony Hill, Tamir Rice, Victor Weicker, Daniel Parker, Ayala Young, Kendra James, Kiam Livingstone, Larry Eugene Jackson Jr., Miriam Curry, Tyron West, LaPorsche Watson, Daniel Rice, Dwayne Brown, Shelly Frey, Irving Jefferson, Jersey Green, Johnny Kalani Warren, Justin Slip, Kendrick Bunday, Melissa Williams, Timothy Russell, Michael Parker, Fred Perez, Omar Ventura, Exo Ford, Rekia Boyd, Michael Brown, Tyree Woodson, Eric Garner, Juan Perez, Yvette Smith, Jordan Baker, Jason Brady, Barrington Williams, Miguel Espinal, Fashion Knowledge, Carlos Aziz, Chantel Davis, Jonathan Perel, Kimani Gray, 
Erika Lauro, Ronnie Carr, Hector Alvarez, Cedric Chapman, Laquan Magiano, Quintonio Legrer, Betty Jones. As if everything in life failed her, Concepcion raises her gaze to the street protest where Black Lives Matter to end white supremacy because this is resistance. resistance.